Okay, welcome to part three of our RPG tutorials. In today's video, we're going to be working on animating our player, and we're going to also get started with the tile set, which I'll introduce later. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the icon because we no longer need that, and we're going to make a new node, and it's going to be called animated sprite. Sprite at it, and then we're going to go to the frames, make a new sprite frame, click it, and the sprite frames on the bottom will pop up. And if you ever lose this, if I like, click output, you can click sprite frames again, or you can go back to animated sprite and click it once again. All right, so now we're going to rename this to idle. We're going to add three more. So if you run, this will be death, and then this will be attack. All right, and then if we go to character, we see our player has different, um, what do you call them? Thingies, right? But um, we can't just drag and drop this, right? So I'm gonna delete that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click this little box right here. It says add frames from our sprite sheet. If I go to click it, go to characters, double click the player. And then this one is six by five and we are importing attack, so going to select all the attack frames and then death is going to be the same thing but the death ones and then idle is the top one and then run will be this one all right and then we'll just move our player slightly and we'll make this fit the player so as you can see, it's hard to select the back, the actual collision. So what you can do is you can lock the animated sprite. So now I can no longer select it. And what I might do is I might actually change this into a rectangle. And I'll do that. So that way it only collides with its feet. At the moment, we don't have any collisions. So you know it doesn't really matter too much, but you'll see in a minute. OK. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to add a ready function. So what the ready function is, is it gets called every time this player is called onto the scene. It's ready to be used, essentially. I'm going to get uh, sorry, node animated sprites. And we're going to dot play idle. So what this is doing is getting this node. So the script is in the player. We're going to get this node down here, animated sprite, and then it's going to call this function of that node, play idle. Okay. So um, now if I were to play it, you can see the, the character is playing the idle animation. It's a bit hard to see, but it is. Okay. And now what we're going to do is every time we go to the right or left, we're going to do the run animation instead, right? So now if I'm going to the right, it's going to start running. Same thing for the left. However, there's a problem, right? It's not flipping. So there's an easy way to fix that. What we're going to do is we're going to get the node, the animated sprite, the flip h equals false for the right because we want it to stay on the right and then for the left we're going to say it's equal to true and now when i play it if i go to the right the yeah, player is going to the right and if i switch it's going to the left um i'm going to pause on the player for a second actually no we'll, we'll keep going okay um as you can see your code is getting a bit longer but we'll keep going in this concept just to understand it so now we have the problem of our player is continuing the animation run, even if we're not clicking on the left or right, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to check um, if input dot is action just released uh, right and we're going to play the idle. Now what we can do, another thing we can do is we're going to 
bracket this, and then I'm going to do and, I think that's and, yeah, it should be. We're just going to copy paste this to left as well. So now we're checking for the right and left. Oh, sorry, it should, shouldn't be capitalized. All right. Okay. Why did that work? Let's just see. Let's delete this. See why it didn't work. Okay, the right is working. Let's see if I can write and instead. Let's see if that works. Oh no, sorry. Okay, I just trolled a little bit, sorry. Hopefully you caught my mistake. It was it's not we're not checking if both of these things are happening. We're checking if if both of those things are either of those things are happening. So we're gonna do an or statement. Um, I'm not sure which one it is on the keyboard, but or the word or just works as well. So, okay, let's try that again. Now if we go to the right, it stops. Left, it stops. Okay. And another thing we can do um, is so I don't believe Yeah, okay. Um, what we'll do is we'll also add it to the up and down, and then we'll also add E down, and then up, release in here. So now whenever I move in any four directions, it's gonna start animating, right? It doesn't look the best because there's no up or down animation, but that's just because this player's, uh, thing doesn't have that. That's okay. Doesn't matter too much. Kind of looks, still looks kind of real. So as long as wherever I'm going, it kind of animates. Okay. And now it kind of works. Another thing we're going to do is I'm going to go into the world and we're going to go into our player and we're going to add a camera. Camera 2D. So if I add this, you can see our camera is a lot bigger now. So if I play, can't really tell, but the the camera is a lot bigger now. So it's actually is the opposite of what I wanted to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, where is it? Not limit. There is something called zoom, which I forgot where it is. Oh, here it is. I'm just blind. Okay. And we'll make it to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And now what this will do, oh, I have to make it current. There we go. Now it's a bit more zoomed in. So now what's happening is because the background, we'll do this. So we have a reference. Now it actually looks like we're moving around. There we go. So because the camera is current on the player, um, it's following the player. So what you can do is you can take it off the player and now it will no longer follow the player. It's up to you how, how you wanna make it. Um, yeah, uh, once we start adding objects in the world, you'll see that it'll be a little smoother. But for now, this is pretty good. We have an animated player now. It moves and it doesn't collide with anything yet, but We'll, I think we'll add, we'll, I'll introduce one more concept and then we'll get started on it next video. But for now, I'll just introduce it. So there's something called tile map, which is something we're probably going to try to use. And basically it's just a map that you can put tiles on. So if you create a new tile set, you click it and you can drag like, yeah, sure. This one onto it. And oops, and here we have our tile set. And I'll I'll play with it a little bit more and figure out the things for it, and I'll introduce the next video. So I hope you guys like the video. Um, I hope you learned something. Uh, I'm just gonna save this. Uh, and we'll say this. I'll name the planes. There we go. Okay. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you learned something. Um, if you 
this is getting a bit messy and this is not the optimal way of making a player but if you want to try and figure out better ways um you can but this is the way i'm going to leave it for now thanks for watching the video give a thumbs up if you liked it if you didn't like it whatever let me know if i can improve with anything let me know if you need help um yeah thank you guys